entitled or named Kiave, Kiave Wood. After the fire is roaring, we use round yeah. porous rock as you see around the emu, those types of rock. Nice and round, after the uh, rocks go in the roaring fire, that is then being used as the heating element to cook the food. We would then put in a, a first layer of vegetation, which would usually be banana stump, because banana stump holds a lot of water. Steam slash baking going on in our emu. After the first layer of vegetation, we would then put down the food for the evening, which would be pua or pork, fish or vegetables. After we put our food over, we then, as you can see, we have uh, modern uses. And back in the day, we just used what you see right now, which would be banana leaf. Because it covers a wide area, and because um, it's light, they don't have to uh, use too much muscle to clean it like they're doing right now. <laughs> back in Old Hawaii, they were very skillful as not to uh, contaminate the food with the surrounding dirt and vegetation. And after many hours and experience in knowing how long to cook the food, they would then unearth the vegetation. And tonight we have a pua or pig in our emu. Nice, brown, crispy on the outside. Juicy, white meat on the inside. And as I mentioned, they still use this practice today. How about a hand for our two young gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen? As I mentioned, they are very talented. All right. Talented, but need a little help. Can everyone repeat after me the word hookie? Oh, nice. At the count of three, we're going to ask them, well, we're going to help them lift out that pua. Okay? Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one, two, three. Okay. okay, I think we need more of you to help these guys out. Don't let the big arms fool you. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. One, two, three. Okay. Oh, yes. Ooh, all of that juice. Yours is already prepared, by the way. Okay, this is, this is the way they would cook back in Old Hawaii and today. Yeah. All right. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen, as we make our way back to our seats.